Hey, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make the American flag on a single loom. Um, I've done the British flag on a single loom and we've done it also on the uh, double loom, but I've had a lot of requests for the American flag. Now, I have got on my web page the pattern for it. Um, it's one I think that was found on bracelet.book.com. So you can either go to bracelet.book.com and find it, or for ease, I also put it on my web page, which is www.isalicious.com. And there is a link for murals, and you'll find it under murals patterns. So we're going to use a single loom, as I said. All the columns are going to be the same height. We're going to have um, the arrow facing us, pointing towards us. If you don't have an arrow, it's the open part of your peg facing towards us. I'm going to be double banding. Double banding means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs together as if they were one. We're going to be starting by putting a lead here to go to our next column. The style that I do is called a move it forward technique and uh, so we're going to need our base plate removal tool which is on the end of your rainbow loom hook and uh, we will need that to move our columns forward so let's start by placing our bands for our first three columns the first column this is the border here the first column is a pair of blue two three, four, five. Now, I should mention when you do a smaller mural, it is very difficult to get detail. So we're not going to have 52 or however many 50 little stars all over the place. Um, it is just a basic little replication of the flag. We're now going to do a pair of white, a pair of red, a pair of white, a pair of red, and one more pair of white. So we're not actually going to use this last piece here. Our next column starts with a blue pair of blue, pair of white, pair of blue, oops, <laughs> fumble fingers, pair of white and then two pair of blue. And then again, these rows are going to stay the same. You're going to be doing a pair of white, a pair of red, a pair of white, a pair of red, and a pair of white. And that's going to be the same all the way through, okay, for the entire length of it. Here, we're going to start again with a blue, but then we're going to do another pair of blue, and then we do a pair of white, and a pair of blue, and a pair of white and a pair of blue and then we do oops white red white red and white now we're at the end here what we're going to do because this is all white our lead is going to be white so we're going to put two white here we're going to get another two white and go from the centre to the right hand column like that and then from the centre to the left hand column like 
that. We're also going to need clear crossover bands to go over. Take a single and stretch it across these three pegs. Now these can stretch between four, five and six pegs. You don't want to stretch them any more than that because you will have band breakage, it will get warped out of shape, uh, it'll be too tight. So just be careful and remember to count how many you have them stretched over. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so we're also going to put an end cap here because this is going to be our starting point. So take a single and wrap it once and twice and pop that on this little corner peg here. Dig down, grab the two top white bands and you're looping them to the side like that. Now we're going to loop up our first two columns. Okay. Please remember if I go too fast for you you can pause me and catch me up. And I really do encourage you to do that. second and then you're going to dig down here and loop to the side. Make sure you push everything down. That is such an important step because if you have this middle row popping off as we take this off you are going to be mad. Okay, so now we've done that, we're going to turn this over and move our base plate forward. Now I'm just moving the two smaller base plates forward and leaving the big base plate holding all three columns in place. I'm now going to take that spare column off that has nothing on it and move it forward. It is now column number four. Okay. So column number four, we're going to start by having a pair of blue that go across. Grab the other lead blue that we had and then we place a pair of blue and you're sort of going opposite to what we have here. So we had blue and white, so now we're going to go white and blue. But instead of going another white here, we go two blue, okay, like that. And then from here on, it is the same as I mentioned before, white, red, white, red, white, red, blah, 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 blah. blah. white as the lead, drag across and drag your crossover bands dig down, you're going to find those two top white bands and loop them to the right. Now we can loop up our center column And then we take this off our loom.
turn your loom over. Push everything down. Make sure you have your two lead. We're now on column number five. Take the two that were there and place those here. So we're starting with two pair of blue and then another blue because that's white so we do the opposite. White, blue, white, blue, white, red, white, red, and two white, two white as your lead, and move that across. Now this is number five, we are going to do this in fives this time, instead of fours. Dig down, find the two top white bands and loop across and then you loop up the centre. Now you really should be able to work out how to do this. The, we've done quite a few of these murals now showing you their technique. You can apply it to any picture. So. Uh, you're really not going to need me to do too many more of these. <laughs> Gently take this off the loom. Turn your loom over and we move the base plates forward. feeling a bit odd pushing it down onto a band <laughs> all right so for column six two lead bands are going to be blue move those across now we start with a pair of blue and then white the opposite and blue Blue and blue. Two lead bands. Now we're going to start with some extra uh, new set of crossover bands. So take a single and place it on the middle peg and stretch it to the right hand side peg. down and find these two bottom white bands and loop them across. Now we can loop up our center column. Put your finger or thumb or something on this peg to stop it from falling off where it's supposed to stay. There we 
go. Let's move our big base plate and move our column of pegs. We're now on column number seven. We need two ble blue lead, <laughs> bleed, blue lead. <laughs> these ones across. I'm going to be doing a pair of blue here and another pair because it's the opposite. White, blue, white, blue, Stretch these across. This is now stretched across three. As I said, we're going to stretch it across five. So we have two more columns that we can add these to. And now we loop. everything down and we take this one off the loom there we go mini base plates Two lead of blue. Take those two blue and pop them on. A pair of blue and white and blue and white. Now we do two pair of blue. Oh, if my fingers would work. <laughs> Drag this across. Now we can drag this across one more. And now dig down and attach our loop to the right and then loop up our center. sure you put it so that they're still all the same height. Okay, we're doing a 
another pair of blue as our lead drag these ones across and we're doing two pair of blue and then another two well a pair of blue and then another pair <laughs> Okay, so we're going to use a, a new set. If you have forgotten, stretch it out and you can see that you have two pair of crossover bands here. That's where, the, that's where we added the last new one. So it's one, two, three, four, oh, five. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We can drag it across one more. That's excellent. I'm glad we checked. Thank you for reminding me. So the next column will be a new set of crossover bands. Push everything down. Now, see how that one came off? I'm going to push that all back on. That one always tries to escape. Right, now this is going to be our last blue. After that it's going to be red to the end. So I'm going to take two red as my lead from now and pop this pair of blue across. Now we're doing blue all the way down until we get to this point here, okay? So here, all right, now we continue with our white, oops, white and red. And white. Sorry about that, we're getting interrupted with phone calls, aren't we? Goodness gracious, it's like Grand Central Station. So a pair of red. And a pair of white, and let's do our lead white. There we go. So now we need our extra crossover bands, which are clear, and a single from the center to the right hand peg. move down here, loop these two to the right and then loop up our centre. 
remember you have two crossover bands that you have to push back with the back of your hook now out of the way otherwise I'm going to start hitting my camera every five minutes okay so holding this one lift this off your loom turning over and moving our big base plate and our column of pegs Now, this is going to be nice and easy because all we do, this is always going to be a pair of red. And if we can pick up these other ones, that would be nice. There we are. And then we're going to be doing red and white. Red. Oh, I'm sitting here like a stunned mullet, but it's another pair of white. That's interesting. I have to check on the accuracy of that now. I don't know if that's how it really goes, but that's how the how the um, grid drew it. But that's all right. We're not being particularly accurate anyway, are we? Because we haven't got 52 or however many it is stars. Drag this across. How many is it? Is it 50? 50 stars? 52? 48? I've got no idea. I'm going to learn so much about America now that I live here. Um, as my daughter goes to school. I'm going to have to learn it all over again. funny because um, in England I was at school and obviously English literature is English literature and then I moved to Australia and I had to do a year of college there so English literature over in Australia is Australian English literature it's you know Australian authors and poets and whatnot and then over here English literature a lot of it is American authors and so I'm sort of like wow and it's the same with um, all the different subjects for school. So I feel like I'm in first grade again with my kiddo. <laughs> doing let me count how many columns of this it is one two three four five six seven eight ten ten columns exactly like this one in front okay where you put the two lead drag these and then you just do exactly the same color bands as the column in front so I'm not going to sit here and uh, do 10 columns with you because you'll be bored brainless and um, I will meet you at the end all right so I'm going to pause this and I'll meet you at the end when we're on our 10th one when we've laid the bands for the 10th one well I am now back and this is my column number 10 so for column number 10 you do not need to have a pair of lead bands you're just going to place the ones that are on the middle peg over to the right 
you're going to lay your bands quite normally just like you have been hopefully you haven't forget forgotten 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 to do your crossover bands because you have needed some new ones remember they only get stretched over five columns so I hope you haven't forgotten that because otherwise it's going to be a bit misshapen so all the way down here Our last pair of red, our last pair of white, remove these white over like that, drag your crossover bands over, now you're only going to need two more white bands to tie off with, drag this over and loop it to the right. We can loop up these two columns at the same time. That's absolutely fine. to the top here, dig down, pull this to the right and the same again, pull to the right. Now, I'm sorry I said we were going to tie off with two white bands, we're going to tie off with two red bands because that merges in with what we have here. So push your hook all the way past all of those bands and slip your two red bands on the end of your hook and pull through and to the back side of the peg here. Take the two closest to you, up, over and off and pull tight into a slip knot and we are ready to take this off the loom. Make sure you pull it into shape. with these tie-off bands all I'm going to do is go through the center here and grab those bands and pull them back through so that they're hidden under here okay slide them under there we go into the middle of the mural and there we have our American flag mural. Now this was the English one we did and you can see this was on a single loom and this was on a single loom but the difference is the length and you can make things as long as you want I mean you could make a belt like this by just repeating 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 it can go as long as you want the only thing that you're restricted by when you're making it on a single loom is the height okay so when you're searching on braceletbook.com and stuff like that, the height is going to be 12 or 13 strings, but the width, it really doesn't matter. You can make it as long as you want. Hope you enjoy making. Take care.